Alrighty, so walk through time. Now you're at the property and pray that everything goes well. It's time to do that walkthrough. So I'm gonna go in here and just kind of get the buyer's permission to allow you guys to see what's going on. But remember the walkthrough, the main purpose of the walkthrough, you wanna see that everything is okay uh, according to like uh, how it was. Good morning. How it was after the inspection. So you wanna make sure there's nothing changed in the walkthrough. So let me get the buyer's permission and then uh, we're gonna show you how you do a walkthrough. Make sure everything is the way it was at the end of the inspection. That's the main thing. All right guys, so you're gonna do your walkthrough now and I got Omar right there, all right? And Lelisha, come on with me guys. We're gonna do the walkthrough. Main thing you're looking for is to make sure that there's nothing new, nothing new in your walkthrough. So let's go in and take a look. Thank you, Diego. So all personal items are out. I just want to make sure that there is no So you live right down the street. Wow. No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you did. I was like, oh. Nothing is left on the property that is not supposed to be here. You know, that's one of the main things. So just look. I'll check all the bedrooms and everything for you guys. So the most important thing guys is to make sure on the walkthrough that everything is in order in the sense that there's nothing new. So most important guys, when you're doing the walkthrough with your buyers, you wanna make sure that after the inspection, there were certain things that revealed. You don't wanna see anything new. So for the walkthrough, everything should be in order. All the personal items out of the property and it's ready to go. The buyers, they just finished up sending in their wire. They just came from the bank. Doing the walkthrough right now. Then after this, they're gonna go to signing. Bam! Most important thing that you could do is give them something that's gonna last. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a little while, so. All right, so we're finishing up here. Walkthrough is good. There's no problems. There's no personal items. There's nothing here that it's not supposed to be. Everything is good. Monies are wired. Now it's time to go and get the document signed and then you're gonna deliver a gift, a memorable gift. Something that can last for a long time that they can remember you by right in this home, right here. Think about that. So remember how the house is. There's a pool, there's different features. There's a nice backyard. What could the gift be? You have to think about that and then you want the gift to kind of match the home. So let's go to the rest of this. Okay, so this is my selection for the closing. I wanna give them this nice basket that could sit on their kitchen counter or their dining room table and they water it a little bit and it just lasts for like a long time. So usually when I do stuff like this and I go back in about a year or two, the plant has gotten so big, it's like amazing. They remember me. So this is good stuff. You're gonna stick your cards in this little bouquet, about five business cards, and you're gonna deliver it to the closing. Let's go finish up this closing, all right? All right, so just wanna take a moment to just finalize it. And this is like what we wanted to talk about when we say you're closing the deal today. So it started out with the run. 
you know, wanted to get that run in to get the mind going because you don't know what you could run into on a walkthrough. Sometimes you go to a walkthrough and there's like clothes, there's like things, personal belongings, furniture. I mean, that is like not supposed to be there and that's a bad thing for the closing. So you just work it out. So you've got to be ready. So everything went good. Then we stopped. We got the gift. And after we got the gift, then what do we do? We moved on to making sure that everybody is good to go. Okay, so the buyers are inside and they are getting ready to sign. I'm gonna deliver the gift and then we take off from there. So everything is smooth so far. The walkthrough went good. Most importantly, in the morning, did that manifestation, did that run, got pumped up. Imagine everything being as smooth as it is happening right now. So the final touch is to deliver the gift and then move on with the day. Got a buyer waiting to go show. All right, so take a look, okay? Nice gift. And then you've got your business cards. Got your business cards in there. So now we're going to take it on down. Of course, you're supposed to be wearing your mask. Let's find them. Hey guys, I'm still recording, so it's for you, mama. <laughs> still recording, don't say anything bad. <laughs> so, yes, mwah, mwah. Joey, what do you got for me, buddy? So this was sitting in my car for a month. Thank you, buddy. No, not a month. <laughs> <laughs> you know it would be soon. All right, so the closing is going good. Everybody is happy, and Joey's doing his thing, and... Congratulations, guys. Yay, we're here. Woo -hoo -hoo. And that's a wrap. All right, so the gift is delivered. Everything is good. And now we move on to the next part of the day. So the most important part about your closing real estate deal is that you've got to get yourself ready in the mornings, the day of, because when you do the walkthrough, Anything can happen. You, you don't know what could come up. I've seen walkthroughs where the furniture, the personal belongings are still in the property and there is like things are not done. Items are removed that were not supposed to be. You really, it could be like a surprise for you. So get yourself ready. This was a great, great walkthrough. It was a great smooth process. The buyers went to the bank before we came in so they could go ahead and make that wire transfer. So the funds were in the bank account of the title company, the closing company, prior to the walkthrough. Now we finished up, did the walkthrough, everything went well, and we stopped. As a realtor, a good realtor, you stop and you get that gift. The gift, I showed you a great example of what it's like to give a gift that can last, something that's memorable. And we delivered it, and we don't hang around. It's a personal matter, really, especially at this time. You don't want to crowd the room too much. I usually drop the gift off, trust my closing person to handle all the dynamics of that. Now it's time to go and catch up with a buyer. And this buyer is a buyer that I've had for many years. So the day goes on. You got to move on. Until next time, let's go get him, Tiger. See you real soon.